Studies have shown that immigrant and refugee populations who are vulnerable to tuberculosis infection often delay or refuse to seek health care due to factors such as stigma and a lack of culturally competent community-based services and supports. In September 2019, Access Alliance Multicultural Health and Community Services undertook the Tackling TB Stigma Initiative to address the lack of awareness and high levels of stigma attached to TB for immigrants and refugees in Toronto. We used an inclusive cross-sectoral approach whereby over 150 individuals representing primary care, public health, settlement and newcomers from the three highest risk communities in Toronto, India, China and the Philippines, were engaged in all phases of the project, including recommendations. We used a variety of co-design approaches, recognizing that service users are in the best position to identify issues and solutions. We found that newcomers tend to prioritize other determinants of health and settlement needs, such as employment and housing, over TB and their health care, and their perceptions of TB are influenced by multiple elements, including culture. It was revealed that available information and resources around TB are simply not reaching newcomer populations, and the resulting lack of knowledge is an underlying cause of TB-related stigma in newcomer communities, giving rise to fear and misconception. Discrimination related to other factors such as race, class, immigration status, or gender intersect with TB-related stigma. We heard from settlement agencies themselves that TB is not a priority for newcomers. The resulting low knowledge and experience around TB among staff limit the support they can offer to newcomers. Federal and provincial eligibility criteria around health and social services prevent settlement agencies from providing services to people with no immigration status, potentially excluding those at greatest risk. All project participants agreed upon the need for improved collaboration between settlement and health sectors, including, including strengthened referral pathways. Health service providers rarely see cases of TB in their everyday practice. As such, they may perpetuate misconceptions and as a result, inadvertently contribute to TB stigma. This is combined with a complex and decentralized TB system in Ontario, whereby many providers refer their TB cases and questions to specialized clinics, rather than managing them in a community setting. For those newcomers who are receiving support, many fear the repercussions a diagnosis may have on their employment and immigration status. Lastly, the medical exam and surveillance processes are confusing and frustrating, highlighting a disconnect between primary care and immigration refugees in Citizenship Canada. Overall, this work helped to reveal how the role of stigma should be central to any discussion or action around infectious disease management, particularly with regards to the newcomer experience, which is layered and complex. Furthermore, effective disease management requires a holistic approach and is best understood within a social determinants of health framework. The developed project recommendations require cross-sectoral action in the domains of education, practice, and policy. To read these and the full report, please visit accessalliance.ca slash tackling TV stigma.